hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i'd like to take you through the medla toledo ind 360 weighing terminal i just want to show you how to set the parameters in the beginning i'm gonna be focusing a lot on the most important parameters and then some parameters we're not gonna really change them i'm just gonna go over them briefly in my previous video, I did cover the components that are involved in a weighing terminal, including the load cell, the amplifier, the display, the power supply, and the mass piece on the left. So now we're just going to go straight to the menu. If you are interested in how to wire it and what is the function of each component, you can just watch my other video uh, in this same series. Okay, let's go straight to the Metla Toledo weighing terminal, IND360. Okay, so if you see on this side, we've got four buttons and an enter key. We're going to be using those buttons to enter into the menu and, and, and to change some of the parameters. Let me try to start with the most important ones. When you buy this weighing terminal, let's say it's brand new from the box, it will come without some of the values. So you need to insert them. So obviously you're going to first collect, connect the load cell, connect the power supply, put everything together. And then once everything has been installed and wired, you want to do now the setup. So we're going to use this button on the right. You press and hold for two or three seconds, and then you come to the main menu. Here, when your scale is still new, the password is not set yet. So you're just going to press enter and enter. And then you come to the main menu. In the main, under the main menu, you've got five sub menus. Uh, it is scale, application, terminal communication and maintenance at the bottom okay let's start at the beginning with scale under scale that's where you set up your calibration let's enter you use the enter button to enter there okay under type you set the type of a load cell in it depends on the load cell that information you're going to take it from your load cell or from your yeah from your load cell basically so we were not going to change anything in, in this scale. Most of the time, we won't have to change any parameters here. And then all of these parameters, you can just leave them the way they are and go back. And then capacity and increments. Let's enter that one. For this scale, um, the purpose of the scale, um, I've set it up to weigh items that are 0 to 150 kg. But you can always change this value. You can just, okay, obviously there's a primary unit. Can use kilograms, pounds, tons, uh, and so on. And then you set the capacity, straightforward. If your scale is 0 to 20,000, you can also set that. And then you increment. That is how much the scale or the weight value is changing. If you want to see the point zero one after the comma, you can uh, change that under that thing 0 0.002 but for this purpose of the scale we're just gonna leave it at 0 0.2 okay and then we've got this value blank over capacity what you want to do here when your scale is for example already set our scale from 0 to 150 then when i place a mass that is greater than 150 i want my scale to show 22 milliamps this 99 we got it from a manual by default your scale will be 99 if you change it to a different value it's gonna give you errors let's say you if you put overweight then it's gonna cre create an open circuit in your plc but oh, let me just put it this way the output that is going to the plc is in a range of 4 to 20 milliamps but once you go above 150 kg and then it's gonna give an open circuit you don't want that so when you put this value and then it's going to give you a maximum of 22 milliamps which is slightly above let's say 160 cages okay quickly the this one is a very 
important one we do this is where we do the calibration so under calibration we do the zero and the span okay let's enter there under calibration um linearity adjustment linearity adjustment for now is disabled when it is disabled your scale you can do only two points but if you enable that parameter let's go inside if you enable it and then it gives as you do one to do three point three points five four points five up to five points but for this purpose we're just gonna disable it now that is disabled by default the scale will only do two points which is the zero and the span okay okay then obviously the calibration unit you're gonna keep it the same as as um, in kilograms and then we go to the zero adjustment now we make sure there's nothing on our load cell and then we come here we press the zero adjust and then we enter we start the zero adjustment and then it say place a zero weight which is no mess and then you enter it's gonna load for some time and then when it's done it's gonna show success then it's done yeah and then you go back you go to the next parameter which is the span adjustment in this case span i'm gonna use that 20 kg mass piece so i'm gonna go to my span adjustment and then I, I i you can change this value depending on the weight that we're gonna apply if you can see now it says test load one if we we're doing five points we're gonna have a test load one two three and four plus the zero but in this case we're just gonna use one point okay we come to the span adjustment we press enter here then we say start and then it says place a 50 kg weight 20 kg weight sorry it's guiding you so you take that 20 kg mass just hope it's balanced well balanced let's just move a little bit okay 20 kg weight has been placed and then we enter and then we just wait a bit and then it's successful so now my scale has got both the zero and the span values now i'm i'm ready to go to i'm ready to, the scale is basically ready to use we the step adjust and the cal free we're gonna leave them for now and then move because i said i wanted to focus on the most important values and otherwise the video would be too long if i go through each and every parameter okay the zeroing this is where you decide if your your scale is uh it's possible to do an auto zero or you enable the auto zero or um, for now this scale the auto zero is off you can make it on so that and then you will define if you want it to auto zero when it's coming on or you want to auto zero when you're pressing the zero button and so on and then again another interesting parameter that i'm um, just wanna let me just take you through the, the this one the under zero blanking you if you remember i did mention that there's a over reading blanking you also do the under zero meaning if my scale goes to a negative value it's getting empty and empty and then it goes to negative what do i want my skill do i want my skill to 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 remain at zero or the output that i'm sending to a plc to remain at four milliamps or do i want my skill to give an open circuit 99 is a default value and it's a correct value if you want your scale to not to actually indicate the zero value but not indicate an it as an error because there are times whereby the plc will detect any value that is less than three 3.9 milliamps as an open circuit you don't want that so this is a very important value for that okay let's move uh, the auto zero ranges you can set what at what percentage currently this um scale is set to two percent meaning you cannot zero the scale if it's showing a value greater than two percent at the moment my range my f full range is zero to 150 then two percent of 150 is three so meaning i can zero the scale if it's around three kg or minus three kg but any value greater than that, I won't be able to zero it. Okay. Let's go back and continue. And then we've got the term, the filter, and the stability. I'm not going to get through that. It's just how fast the scale is updating you. And then if you use that reset button at the bottom, it's going to clear the parameters we just set. So we don't want that as well. Okay. The tear as well, you can just decide if you want, when you press the tear button, do you want it to tear? The cross weight or you want to tear the um, what do you call it? the net weight 
but we're not going to do that. Okay, let's run quickly through other sections of the parameters. Under the application, I'm going to just show you two things there that I think are important. If you notice uh, on this interface, we've got digital ins and digital outs that we can use. Uh, those input one, input those input one, input two, and input three, output one. You can assign those inputs uh, to say maybe you want this input to come from a PLC, from a different controller, to zero your scale, to tear the scale, and so on. Then this side, this is where you define them. You define the discrete input. Okay, input one, I want to assign it to what? I want to assign it to the zero. Those are kind of things. You're using the rising edge or the falling edge, those kind of things. Input two, you assign it to something else. You can assign it under assignment. I want to assign it to to tear to zero. Those kind of to print. So when you trigger this thing, it's gonna do an output. You can do the same for outputs. I I I um, I hope you're getting it. Okay, fine. And then let's move to the terminal. Terminal is just the information about the scale, the serial numbers, uh, the, the device model, those kind of things. And then you can set the backlight if you want the screen to have a screen saver those kind of things the region and the language i'm not going to dwell much on that you can spend time there the most important setting i think is important is under communication and that is under analog output and under analog output you're setting your output the range of your output to say okay the output that i'm sending from this scale by default is usually 0 to 50 kg but you can set it to whatever value. I, it makes sense to set this value the same as your scale capacity. So my scale capacity is 0 to 150, and then I want the output range to be the 0 to 150. That helps you so that whatever the scale is displaying is the same as what the PLC is showing. So it's very important to set this, this parameter. And then let's just go through the port service net and access security access security is where you set the password you want to protect your parameters you don't want um, unauthorized people to change them then you can go under access security and set the passwords and then service ethernet i did show you in my previous video that this scale you can actually connect an ethernet cable and then you can set the ip address then under service ethernet and then you can use the, you put the scale on a network or on a laptop and then it can communicate but it's important that you when you do communication the ip address becomes very important and then and the related data around that okay fine uh, okay sorry we don't need to go out for now because i want us to go under maintenance before we run out of time under maintenance this is a very important feature as well that i want us to go through you can under under configure view you see the error calls the last faults that happened on the scale and those kind of things let's say you you don't work night shift you were absent at night but somebody reported that the scale was misbehaving you can go through the error code or the maintenance log and see what was done to the scale previously okay and then when you run the maintenance you can actually look at the value your load cell value the millivolts but it's not going to show it in millivolts. It's going to show it as a count, as a value. So this is actually the live value from the load cell. If I, at the moment, it says 800, 8, 8, 7, 8, 730. If I apply weight, okay. Okay, if I apply weight to my load cell, that value should change. Look at it. It's showing now a different number. So now if you have got any doubt if maybe your load cell is wet king or it's changing as the mass is applied you won't necessarily need to go and test the load cell you can just apply weight and look at this uh, this value and then this values also also become very important when it comes to calibrating your scale uh, because you can actually look at the calibration values and say okay my zero when when i when my scale has got nothing my load cell is giving me so many counts and when I apply a 20 kg mass, this is so many counts. Sometimes you can fine tune the zero and the span of your load cell by changing this value, apart from the previous menu that I had shown you in the beginning. Okay. All right. Under statistics, you can see how many way overloads the scale has experienced, how many zero commands, how many 
yeah this is just the statistics you may be interested in the statistics but some people don't even use these things but it depends but just to recap a bit i think the most important uh, function here will be the um, will be the load cell output and the calibration value under under the um, under the maintenance functionality and then if you press reset all obviously it clears all the parameters and then the scale will reboot i don't encourage you to use this one unless you feel like okay i've changed too many parameters i just want to reset the scale back to default or back to factor settings okay under maintenance those are what this what is important and then um under communication under communication it's a uh, analog output that i think is very important to set and then Termi terminal we don't need to change anything there is just information about the scale applications your discrete input and discrete output and then under scale that's where you do your the scale increments the capacity of the scale the zero calibration and the span calibration okay okay i hope i covered the most important parameters on the scale when you are done with whatever thing and you are happy with it you can just say save the settings before editing but if you feel like you made a mistake you can just say no then it's not gonna save the settings but in my case i'm gonna press yes and then the scale is gonna load and save the value at the moment there's nothing on the load cell so the scale is showing zero when i apply my 20 kg mess piece then the scale should read 20 kg let's have a look okay let's have a look uh, it's 19.8 so it's more or less there if i need to fine tune it or improve it until it's more accurate i can do that but for the sake of this video i just wanted to show you the most important parameters okay thank you guys for watching up until this far i hope you learned and um, how to do settings uh, parameterize and metal teledo ind 360 other metal toledo displays will probably be similar so you can use this information as well for any metal toledo scale and it uh, i hope you you will find this video very useful for that if you've got any questions or any comments please leave them under the comment section please do subscribe to the channel and please do share the video with other people who may find it beneficially and please do like the video. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.